Police tell me it was in this neighborhood that a 17 year old was wearing a black ski mask, holding a hatchet in his right hand, screaming and yelling at pedestrians, posing a threat to this community. In the quiet city of Macon. This is going to be an uncommon occurrence in any part of town. 10 year old was allegedly riding his bike on Jackson Street when he was threatened by two older boys. It turned out to be a, a juvenile chasing another juvenile down the street displaying what appeared to be a large knife. According to the initial press release sent to us by the Macon Police Department, a 16-year-old juvenile was the only one behind this occurrence. Um, it was also revealed during our investigation that a 17-year-old uh, was also involved, um, was, was there when the first occurrence occurred, um, but was also involved in other occurrences of chasing um, citizens, um, whether it be in a car or walking down the sidewalk um, with other weapons as well. The 17 year old Mason Ray Doyle, he's the one police say was wearing a black ski mask carrying a hatchet. So they are related? Yes. The it's, it's, yes, it is related. Or is it being investigated as being related? Yes. Okay. Yes. Reports revealed Doyle was also wearing a ski mask inside his high school. We reached out to the Macon superintendent, but he did not want to comment. Macon police chief tells me this occurrence was the first reported incident. But as they continue to investigate, they're finding out this is not the only one. Doyle was arrested on Monday and faces an unlawful use of a weapons charge. Now I'm told that a judge has ordered Doyle to be held without bond because he poses a threat to this community. In Macon, Justin Andrews, KTVO News.